and welcome to the second in my series of tutorials in Lightroom and Photoshop in relation to pet photography. Uh, the first one I did was how to use the patch tool to remove the lead in an image. Um, it was a quite a simple tutorial as the background was fairly consistent and it was a, a straightforward process. This time around I'm wanting to delve into that a little bit further so kind of go through the steps that I take um, when the background behind the leash is a little bit more complex. Um, so with this image here of the beautiful Freya, um, as you'll see, the lead does have some kind of different things going on behind it, so it's not just a matter of sort of selecting the whole thing and replacing that, because the problem is where are you going to sample it from that will match enough to give a good result. Um, as you can see, like if we sort of let it go there, has a big think about it and you end up with this kind of higgledy piggledy weird thing going on in the background which is not what we want so instead we're going to do it in sections um, and match each section with another section of the image that's similar so starting off down here I'm going to select just this bit here And I'm going to drag that to there. And you can see how to match up the content. As you drag it around, it will update in the original selection. So I'm going to let it go about, or oh, probably about there. Let it work its magic. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's got a little bit of funny stuff going on here. Um, a little bit to fix up down there, but not really a bad result. Uh, the next section I'm going to do will be this bit here. Um, because we can match that quite easily a little bit further up. So I think I'll drag that up to about, about there. And yeah, again, it's done a pretty good job of matching up the content there. Just a couple of little things to fix up later. So the next section I'm going to do will be a bit in front of the post here. So select that um, and I'm going to match that to maybe just below it which should work nicely again it's done a reasonable job now this hit here is going to be a little bit trickier um, I'm just going to grab this bit here and just move it over a teeny little bit now you'll see there's still a little bit of the leash there but the tool should be clever enough that it will work out. I don't want that in there. And then I'm going to grab this bit here and use this bit down here to fix that up. So that was a bit of a, a two stage kind of thing there. Um, this bit up here, I'm going to grab that from there. Now the best place to sample that from will either be right next to it or perhaps a little bit further up here. See that kind of kind of mostly matches up. So I'm going to get it so the bottom part matches up and I'm going to fix the top bit up manually. Okay, so now to grab this tool here and do a little bit of clicking around just to kind of blend in any anomalies we might have. And again with this tool you kind of get a preview of where you're sampling it from and how how well it's going to match before you actually click so it's kind of good um, here I'm going to grab from up here and try and sort of make this a little bit straighter which has turned out pretty well let's check this little bit up here this bit here a lot of this is just a matter of Clicking around until it looks good enough so that someone looking at the image won't notice it. So it might involve kind of zooming out and have a bit of, having a bit of an overall look at the image just to sort of see if there's any real noticeable bits that don't look quite right. Um, so up here there's a little bit of a problem with this post not quite lining up, and also in this corner here. So I'm going to sample from a bit further up. A 
A lot of this involves also changing the size of the brush because um, if you use too big of a brush obviously you sample too much and it's quite noticeable or sometimes if you use a brush that's too small you can actually see the repeated sections where you've clicked. So getting the brush size right is very helpful. I'll clean up that little bit there. So zooming out and having a look at this I'm actually reasonably happy with that. Uh, the only thing that I might try and fix up a little bit just this bit here, it's not quite straight, it's a little bit wobbly looking. So I'm going to try and grab that from up there. Then grab this here. There we go, that's much better. So there we go, the leaf is gone. The only other things I'd probably do to this image um, is fix up a little bit on Freya's pretty face here. Get rid of that little spot there and that little spot there. I find attention to detail is a big thing. You might not notice things to start with when you're looking at the image, but if you do mean to have a bit of a look around, um, there are little things that you can fix up just to improve the overall look. So there we go, a leash free Freya. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial and I'll see you next time.